What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Rich, back for another NBA Best Bets presented by Pinnacle Sportsbook. Your trusted sportsbook for the past 25 years. We are into round two of the NBA playoffs, and we're kicking off a pair of game ones today. I am very excited. The Cleveland Cavaliers survived against the Orlando Magic and are taking on the Boston Celtics and the Oklahoma City Thunder, the young kids, against the stars out in Dallas in Kyrie and Luka Doncic. Should be an exciting series. Should be an exciting week of NBA basketball. Let's get into the best bets right now. So as you can see here, three games on the board. We'll be kicking things off with the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Boston Celtics because this 11.5 number is very, very interesting. And here is the reason why. When you look at when these teams play during the regular season, 11 points, 8.5 points, 8.5 points. The one game that Cleveland didn't cover was on the road again. So same as this situation, but they only lost by nine points. And this 11 number where there were 11 point dogs was the biggest underdog they were all season long. So the big question is, can they cover the 11 and a half? And when you look at this data, you say, probably they've done it before. It's hard not to look at that 11 and a half and say, well, in the playoffs, games tend to go under. And when you look at Boston and you look at Cleveland, They've been going under. If we're talking about a game that's probably going to go under, that probably favors the underdog because it's not hitting the total. And so the spread is kind of indicative of the projections and the total. And so with that, I believe that we should probably be leaning on the Cleveland Cavaliers here. But the interesting thing about this is, are you going to get a 12? Are you going to get a 12? You probably won't get a 12 and a half, but are you going to get a 12? Even 11 and a half plus 102? I just don't think I can pass up that value. I just don't believe that we should pass up the value when all the data is telling us that they can cover an 11 and a half point spread, that they can cover an eight and a half point spread at times. They can cover at nine points. And with that kind of buffer, give me the Cleveland Cavaliers plus 11 and a half as my first best bet. I think it's a great spot for them. If you want to take the team total over 98 and a half, I like that number as well. 98 and a half is like nothing. They do play some low totals. It's the games at home where they really tend to play slower pace and really keep the points down. But on the road against Boston, they know they're going to have to score. And when you look once again, 113, 105, 107 against Boston every single time. The playoffs are a different animal, but I think that is enough leeway here. You see the juice to the over. They should be able to put up 100 points on Boston if they have any shot of covering this 11.5 point spread. They're definitely going to need to do that. So I like both those bets. Uh, Boston as well at 110. I don't I don't hate it. I'd probably lean on the under as far as the total goes. But I think that 98.5 is a pretty disrespectful number for the Cavs. But with the Celtics, you just never know. They can definitely put up a number like that and be more than worthy of of covering that spread as well. But give me the Cavs. I think they're the better bet and going to keep this game close and maybe even push the Celtics to the very end in this game. But let's move on to the next one because we have the Dallas Mavericks and the Oklahoma City Thunder. Oh, this is a tough one. This is a tough one. Three and a half. You want to just take the favorite. You look at the history between the two teams. It's, it's interesting, right? You look at, you have a five point spread here. You have a nine and a half point spread, which... Oklahoma City didn't cover and then you have a 19 and a half at the end of the season when Kyrie and Luka weren't playing now you have a three and a half point spread OKC is at home 218 over under I think we got to lean on OKC here I, when you look at their success in the playoffs so far especially at home they've been really dominating teams at home and while it's only New Orleans it's the same case in the regular season and while you look at Dallas and you say they got the superstars, they can definitely contend, I just believe that the depth and speed and youth of Oklahoma City is really going to play itself out at home. And three and a half points just isn't enough for me to take the Dallas Mavericks here. The Mavericks are a great team. We know that Luka and Kyrie are going to do work on offense, but we'll see how they play defensively. Can they keep up with OKC? OKC's been chilling, man. They've had plenty of time to relax and rest, and now they have to play against Dallas, who... As you can see here, they play pretty well against Dallas. They played well against Dallas all year long, 3-1 and one against them. Covered the spread in two of those three games, but the spread they didn't cover, they still won by seven points. And this is only a three-and-a-half point spread, so I'm going to have to take the Oklahoma City Thunder here. I think they're the better team. I think they're poised for a potential run. I think the only team in their path is going to be the Minnesota Timberwolves. 
And overall, the Thunder just seemed ready and poised for a phenomenal performance at home once again. So give me the Oklahoma City Thunder over the Dallas Mavericks. It is three and a half right now, minus 111. So you may see a four, but for now, take that three and a half. And I think you are getting a great number on a phenomenal team. Could be tight down the stretch, but I do like the Thunder here. I think they have the edge over the Mavericks. And I will slightly touch on Indiana and New York. I haven't done a ton of research on this, but one of the plays that I was looking at earlier is to look at the over. When you look at these two teams, they've been playing 5-2 and two to the over in the playoffs so far. They played to a 238 total in the first game. So give me the over on the Knicks and Pacers. I think they're going to go over once again in New York. So that's it for me. Quick recap of the players. We're taking the Cleveland Cavaliers plus 11.5 at plus 102. We're also taking the Oklahoma City Thunder minus 3.5 at minus 111. And a little tease to Wednesday. We're taking the over in the New York Knicks Indiana Pacers game at 220 points because I think that total is going to continue to rise. Thank you guys so much for watching. You can follow me on Twitter or X at JaboyJRidge. And make sure you're following Pinnacle across all of our socials. Good luck tonight. And as always, bet smart and bet Pinnacle. I'll see you guys next week. I'm out. Peace.